I'm helping. <clears throat> Hi, YouTube. <laughs> Hi, guys. So sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I'm on holiday in Norfolk at the moment. I can vouch for this. <laughs> so I thought I'd do a quick haul of things that I've collected whilst on holiday and also I've been given a few things for my birthday, which is on Sunday. The first thing I'm going to show you is this little toy TY bat and it's from the TY range Beanie Boos. <laughs> so the girl I look after um, after school, she collects these tiny little <coughs> toys and I have a really small version of this Beanie Boo um, on my bag as a keyring dressed up in a Halloween outfit and it's quite sort of a personal present because she knows I love bats and also it really does remind me of her just because she has a bed absolutely full of these. So he's got these tiny little glistening eyes and he's got this sort of shiny um, pink material for ears and his little bat wings. He's got these tiny little green feet. And in his little tag it says that his name's Igor. Um, and it says I like to sleep hanging upside down and then I fly all over town. And he's so soft so, so I will put him with my other cute little bat toys on my bed. got was for Valentine's Day and it was this box which contains two sets of cards and they're called tattoo playing cards so here is sort of the design on back of each of the two packs and they're both sort of Victorian-esque photos um, they're sort of the old photos you see of like the first heavily tattooed people you've got the um, tattooed lady and the tattooed man and there's also um, another version with sort of a middle-aged man and on the cards she is the queen, he's the king and then you've also got the middle guy as the jack. And these are really nicely designed cards, they've got really nice illustrations on them. And on holiday this has definitely been sort of a saving grace to keep us entertained as the internet is slightly sketchy out here. It's also been handy having the two sets of cards because it means we can have one upstairs and downstairs. But also I do know that some card games do actually require having two full packs of cards. So next up I got this pair of socks for my birthday and they are pumpkin socks. Um, I am beginning to sort of collect Halloween themed socks. I did get a few around Halloween um, but these were a nice addition to my collection. And they are sort of kind of a glittery orange, I don't know if you can tell. But it gives them quite sort of a rough feeling on the outside which kind of gives you a little bit of grip when you're wearing them. They're super warm and another thing which I do really like is how the sort of stalk of the pumpkin sticks up over the top of the sock rim, I guess you call it. The seam. And I know that my friend got these from Topshop. I'm not sure whether or not they were only there for Halloween. I'm not sure how long ago she bought them. But I'm sure you'll be able to find them online. So you may begin to see a theme of things that I've bought this holiday. Um, the first ones which I'm going to show you are these geckos I bought. I bought three of them. I was only going to buy one but then I couldn't decide which colour to buy and then I was going to get two and then they looked lonely so I got all three of them. So they're these kind of like resin geckos, they're all slightly different colours and they've got these sort of black splattered paints on them and gold feet. If you aren't able to sort of hang them on the wall I guess you could sort of blue check them if you wanted to. They are something that would kind of sit on a table or possibly a shelf just for decoration. And they are in slightly different um, positions, the green one has its head raised a little bit more than the red one. So I'll insert a clip now of what they look like when they're laying down on a surface. each for these lizards which is quite pricey but they definitely feel quite good quality it was a little sort of gift shop we found whilst we've been on this holiday in Norfolk and I think they're just really nice vibrant colours and they go really well as a set together and on the theme of lizards I got this tiny little Pascal from the um, from the Disney film Tangled so I got this tiny little Pascal in um, a toy shop and I got him to go in my car. He was quite expensive because he was one of the like official um, Disney figurines and he cost me around £5.50 and I'm planning to sort of blue tack him and having sitting, have him sitting in my car with me. Um, we have had him in my boyfriend's car whilst we've been away on holiday and we have noticed that he is rather top heavy so he's constantly falling over. 
Um, but I'm sure once I've got a bit of blue tack on his feet, he will be fine. Oh, Pascal. He's made of plastic <coughs> and it means that he's quite sort of squishy and his legs are quite malleable. I don't think it's it's sort of squishy enough for them to snap off, but they definitely can move. And it does say that he is hand painted, which I'm not surprised it is quite detailed because there's lots of different colours throughout his design, although he is mainly just sort of greens and yellows. I do actually have a bearded dragon um, back at home, but I am really tempted to be getting a chameleon. So now that I've committed to looking after a bearded dragon, I should think I should be able to handle a chameleon. What? So the next thing I got was today in a... <laughs> so the next thing I got in a shop today called Gecko Gifts. And we kind of saw it whilst driving and I went purely because of the name and I was not disappointed. It was probably the best shop that I went to during my stay here in Norfolk. So the first thing I got was this wind chime. It's quite hard to show up on camera so I kind of just start at the bottom of the It's like a kite shaped um, red and orange glass pendant and then coming up a bit it has this interesting sort of wind chime design which you can probably hear. Um, and they're just all clanking against this little bit and then it has a spiderweb design at the top which just hangs and this little little spider that comes off the side um, I do have loads of different wind chimes at home <coughs> but I haven't got one that is sort of half and half and I did really like the fact that it had the wind chime off to one side and then the little spider detail on the other I have recently sort of been collecting wind chimes. They seem all to be from the same make as they all kind of the same design but now I have a spider one, I also have a black cat on a purple moon and I also have a sort of bat scene on a moon as well so I thought this one would fit in nicely. And this was relatively cheap as well, it was definitely under £10 which I always think is such good value for money with the quality of these wind chimes. So I insert a clip now of what the wind chime actually looks like when it is hanging up. The next thing I got from the same shop, um, Gecko Gifts, and is this <laughs> is... Is that an umbrella? <laughs> This is like an umbrella, it is a, another kind of wind chimey thing, but for inside. It. So to open it, it's just like one of those cocktail umbrellas that you'd get in a shop, so if you bear with me a second. So you just push it up to extend the umbrella. <laughs> oh, that's true that. So it just hangs from the top, again I have to insert a clip. To so it is, has this. Um, That's a <laughs> so it just hangs from the top. I'll have to insert a clip just to show you how it generally looks once it's hanging. It kind of cascades down in a sort of spiral and. They are sort of made of paper, but they're not paper paper, if that makes any sense. It's not like gonna rip or anything. And it has these little beads at the top, and then it has a little heart, and then a little bat. And each of the bat have these tiny little sparkly um, eyes on them. I'll, just, I'll show you close up, because it's quite hard to describe them. And then down, down through the centre, this one here, he's just a little spider. Um, the only thing with this spider is because he's made of paper, his legs aren't exactly the best quality. They're a bit scrunched up, um, but it doesn't really matter. This was really cheap. This was only £8. I have seen these on eBay before, but it's the first time I've actually seen one sold in a real life shop. And I just think they're so pretty. And also, when you hear that they're made of paper, you don't really think it would work, but it definitely does work. I'm not 100% sure 
how the cocktail umbrella ties in with it, but it definitely goes with the design, so I'm not complaining. So I'm really happy with this, it's definitely worth the money I paid for it, and I think this would look really nice, um, sort of hanging in the corner of a room, possibly above a bed or something. At the moment I do have a massive spider web coming off the top of my bed. And I do think it looks quite sort of almost subtle and elegant, even though it is quite sort of big, bold bats and hearts. I think it would fit really nicely um, in a room without drawing too much attention to itself. It does also make a really quiet jangling sound. Now, I 100% don't think these should be used outside just because they are made of paper and I should think as soon as they get wet, they would be ruined. So I'm not 100% sure what the bells are all about. Um, but it does give it a nice little twinkle when it is being messed around with. Another reason I got this is because my granny used to have one of these, but it was fish, so there was just fish hanging all down, and it did remind me of... She used to have it hanging in her, sort of, dining room, so it did sort of remind me of that, although it is completely different. <laughs> the next thing I got was this black cat clock with a little... Um, moving tail on the back which is detachable um, and I got this from a card shop it was just sort of a random card shop it didn't really have any other chains but I have seen this clock quite a few times online um, and it was from one of these companies which look a little bit out of place in these card shops they have a lot of skull ornaments and sort of skulls holding bottles and um, more sort of like gothic um, items and this was just on the back of the shelf it was the last one um, it was really cheap I think it was about £12 and I've needed a clock for what for a while now um, my dad bought me one when I was about seven which was his big um, pink block numbers um, it was more for me to help um, learn how to tell the time but it really didn't fit in with my room anymore so I did get rid of it um, this one also doesn't have a second hand which means it's a lot quieter um, although I don't really mind um, ticking at night, but it is something to consider if you are someone who is really sort of affected by ticking. It's not 3D at all, it is kind of just printed onto this wooden board, other than the tail which hangs down at the back. And close up, the detail isn't like fantastic, you can kind of see a bit of pixelation, but definitely like once it's sort of as far as you would be from a clock to tell the time, um, it looks really cool and effective and I think this really fits in nicely. And then in the centre it does have French writing, please excuse my pronunciation, but it says Le Petit Caf de Chat Noir, so like, I guess that kind of translates to the little cafe of the black cat or something along those lines. Um, but it's not really a massive feature to this, you can't really, it doesn't stand out at all, but it is sort of a nice little detail if you are sort of into that kind of thing. This looks so much like my cat when he was a kitten. Here's the writing here and then there's a little design here and the tail is just hanging from the back. This clock um, just takes one AAA battery so not much um, to keep this going and it does have a small little bracket for hanging it up. I have tried to hang it on the on the wall where I'm staying. I took down one of their photos and tried to put it up but the hooks, like the normal wall hooks, aren't quite big enough so I'm thinking of possibly putting string around the back and just sort of looping the string through and then hanging it onto the hook. I am really pleased with this, I have been looking for a clock for a while, um, I just hadn't seen one online which I really liked and then when I saw this one in person I thought that this one was just perfect. So back to the lizard themes, I got these two little musical instruments. I did get them for my sister, my sister is a music teacher and she loves lizards just like I do. Um, we do collect this style of lizard, it's just um, quite thin wooden board and then the design has been sort of dot printed on there. So my sister has lots of kind of smallish sort of this size lizards hanging um, all over her walls and I have two of these really big ones, they'd be around sort of four foot each long um, and I have them above my lizard tank and they're kind of almost like that. Um, they go really nicely above my tank and they, and they do bring quite a lot of colour into the whole area. I think they're meant to be sort of like an African tribal design but I'm not 100% sure on that. But when I saw these it made me think of her straight away because they're the same type of lizards that we collect but also they're musical instruments so I thought that they would go really nicely with her collection. She does also collect sort of musical instruments from all around the world. I know this isn't really like the musical instrument of Norfolk or anything but um, 
she definitely will like these not something we've seen in any of our sort of local stores that sell these kind of items and these little um wooden lizards only cost 2.99 each which i thought was great value for the fact that when you buy this size lizard without any of the musical instruments they're going to be around five pound anyway and another thing about these lizards is you never get two of the same design just because they are all handmade um it did say on the shop um, window that they are all handmade in a specific small country but I can't quite remember the name of it um, but I have seen them quite a few times in different kind of spirituality stores um, sort of good vibe places um, I know they're quite sort of a commonly bought thing and as I said the store was called gecko gifts so they did have a lot of lizard themed items so another two items which kind of follow the same theme, they're from exactly the same shop and they're probably painted by the same people, are these two little um, wooden creatures. The first one is a little gecko and that's on a keyring and I've got that one for my car. Then I also got this snake and this one was around a pound and I think this cost me like £2.50 or something but I thought this would go quite nicely above my lizard tank. Because it's quite a small size and I think it will fit quite nicely just under the two big lizards I was telling you about. Other than the fact that these always look different, you can never get two of the same design. Um, a thing which I do really like about these items is that they are quite a thin wood. They're not thin enough to break or anything, but it does mean that you can easily blue tack them up onto the wall without having to ruin the design by drilling through them or anything like that. So the last thing I got from that store was, um, in no surprise, another lizard themed item. And it is this little beaded wire lizard and they had loads of these and it took me a lot to decide which one to buy although I did want to buy all of the designs. I did only buy one just because they were £10. Um. So there was a choice of like rainbow ones and red ones but I decided to go with this one just because it's slightly more realistic colour but it does still have some interesting coloured beads within the design. I also like the fact that this lizard is kind of wonky looking and this tail is really 3D whereas the other ones were a little bit more flat and really straight. Things that really sold me on the, these lizards are their really big um, eyes that just kind of stand out from their head. I thought it was a really nice little feature to them. I did want to buy like all of them but they were £10 each and as you can imagine I bought quite a lot of stuff from there and it was all starting to add up so I did have to limit myself to one of these. As I mentioned, it was all handmade in that shop, so everything looked slightly different. I haven't actually come across these lizards before, but I'm sure you could probably search um, on the internet for something similar. But they are made out completely of these tiny little colourful beads, and then obviously wire um, to sort of keep it all together, and then these two blue stones. It does remind me sort of of the wind chime that I showed you, just because they do also do designs very similar to this with their wind chimes. So he does have quite a lot of character and I chose this one because it did sort of remind me of my bearded dragon at home, although it is a completely different species of lizard. So whilst we've been on holiday I have also visited a little farm shoppy place called um, Norfolk Lavender. I did buy a few little things for my mum. Whilst I was there I noticed a little sale section and in this sale section they had loads of little um, glass figures. Now I wanted to buy some for my sister just because my sister does also collect sort of glass things and then I ended up buying some for myself because I thought they were so cute. I found these tiny little glass spiders. I think they may have been left over from Halloween or something along those lines because they were reduced down by quite a lot and they are these tiny little figurines. You can get them in sort of a browny, reddy, sort of a Ribena colour and the other one in green. So they're quite sort of dark colours but when the light hits them you can um, sort of see through them, the colours do really show up quite nicely. A thing that really sort of sold me was the character which these spiders had. Although they all have the same sort of body and standing position, they all have different eyes which gives them like little different expressions. I ended up buying um, five of these all together, I got two green ones and three red ones because I'm going to share them out between me and my sister. Although they're not something which you could probably find um, in your normal general stores, it's just another example of going into a normal store and finding something kind of Halloween related which has been left over and put in the sale and other people haven't seen how cute they are and bought them. So I've only got about three more things to show you. Um, these two are pretty similar, I got them both for my birthday from my friend 
and they are skull themed items so I just start with this one so I've seen these online um, I think I saw them in grind store and also blue banana and these are from the make doomed and they are crystal skull shot glasses so it's a little bit wet so because I've just taken it off the washing up drying rack thing but it does have an sort of inverted skull but it does have a nice sort of flat bottom so it doesn't roll over or anything when you use it and as you fill this up you can see more of the details of the skull within it so as you fill it up you can see the different details um, you can get actually quite a lot in there um, <coughs> the underneath kind of is hollow so it's not kind of a solid thing which makes it quite light it's not the thickest glass um, or material so I'd be careful about slamming it down on the table just in case it breaks um, but it's definitely a nice little thing to have on show even if you're not going to be using it for shots or anything I used mine as an egg cup this morning so it can be used for multiple different things and I'll just show you the box so you can kind of see a little bit more of what it actually looks like because we've got slightly better lighting than I do. The skull item I got from my friend was a skull calendar holder. Now I haven't actually seen these online but I'm sure they are quite common. They are by a Chinese brand which I can't read at all. Um, but it does also say YY glass on the side so maybe that is a hint towards who made it. So this is a really simple and nice design for a candle holder. As you can see, it is slightly opaque, but it has sort of splatters of silver paint inside the glass. And it has a little sort of dent at the top for putting a tea light in. So as you can see, the little splatters, um, they're not organised at all, they're very random. Um, they've got quite a big blob of silver at the back here, and then in other places it's almost completely see-through. Um, but it does give it a quite nice, shiny effect. It seems like it's made out of quite a thin glass, <coughs> so I definitely be careful when using this, but it does mean it won't melt or anything when you have a tea light in there. And I definitely would have this just as an ornament without even having a candle in, to be honest, because I think it's just such a pretty and unique design. Last but not least, I've got all of these different nail stickers which I got for my birthday. I believe they were just bought off of Amazon. Um, they were nothing really that special. There's just six different ones and they're all different Halloween ones. I've been using um, some nail stickers which I got from, um, I think it was Sainsbury's at Halloween, but they have slowly been running out. So these are just really nice. They're all different details, but they're kind of the same sort of thing with bats and cats and pumpkins. I've been sticking my nail stickers on other items just so I can remember them but these seem like quite a nice little cute quality and you get quite a different variety of them in this six pack. Thank you so much for watching. I'm sorry it's been quite a random video but it's been things which I've bought for myself and I've got for my birthday so it's been quite a different sort of... Oh, I'm in the picture, aren't I? Yeah, you are. <laughs> There was no sort of like main category that it all fell into, so I just thought I'd show you them all in one go. I am going to Harry Potter Studios on Wednesday, which is exciting, and I got loads of sort of Harry Potter themed gifts already. And I will be buying myself some while I'm at the studio, so I will be doing a Harry Potter haul next, but I didn't want to put it all in here just because it was take probably about seven hours. We are going home tomorrow, so this is the last time you'll see me in this weird setting. Um, but thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or comments, please leave them below. Don't forget to enter my giveaway, which will be closing on Sunday, the 21st of February. And I hope you have a good week. Bye! I'm also sorry for this oaf that has been distracting me for the whole of the video, but he would not leave. <laughs>